Right everybody, welcome back to the next part. Um, Sam's reconnecting the car, but as you can see from our last short video that we did, uh, <laughs> it will be short because um, it was really, really bad. Uh, editing that is but we've got the, the amount of running and it runs but you heard from the video it was running really really lumpy so while we've been away from the camera as such we've um, took the carb off and we've given it a really really good clean oh, it's really dark sorry about the light but yeah so we've given it a really good clean and we're just in the process of putting it back hopefully this will make it run it was so uh, it was dirty inside yeah it was it was horrific wasn't it we got some carb clean on it, it took it out brushed it Cleaned all the jets out, all that sort of stuff. Resident expert at work uh, took it apart for us and rebuilt yeah, it. Glad he was there, to be honest. Mm. Uh, we think it's. He, 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 there's been sort of a bit of talk. I don't know what you guys think. Um, you'll see. Obviously, you've seen in the previous videos. I'm sure you've got your own ideas. But there was talk of it possibly the timing. But we we quadruple checked the timing on this, so we're almost 100% sure it's not that. Um, it's pointing to almost like not fuel starvation, was it? It was just. I just think it, it may have had a jet block. I mean, it, these are they're fairly complicated uh, carburetors as they go. Um, we reckon it may have had a, maybe not even a completely blocked jet, partially something blocked. I don't know. It was dirty. It was very dirty. Yeah. Right? In, inside. Yeah. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this should start nicely. Got a time lapse going. So you should catch us all. You see me with a camera, probably. Nice. But um, yeah, so we'll just be in the process of getting this on. And what do you reckon, Sam? Just go for another start. See how she sounds. Yeah, pretty much. Happy days. So what are you doing, Sam? Just replacing a uh, a quite knackered vac line. Oh yeah. Um, and also removing a PCV valve in the process, yeah. which apparently helps out with its running, so hopefully it should be alright. Should be good then, yeah? Yes. And there's, some, there's a little mod we're going to put on, isn't there, as well? Yeah, which I need to go and get actually. I think it's in my room, so... Ah, off back, it goes. Back in a what are you thinking? Where should I put it in? I would put it it's going to have to be on the bottom as you can, so you're away from the heat of the engine. Mm. Right. It's going to have to be just there in rea reality. So this little mod we're putting in then is what, Sam? An inline fuel filler. Yeah. So we did find a lot of um, sludge, mm. like small bits of rust in there. So I'm just going to safeguard against that by uh, adding this in, kind of a pre-filter filter. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's worth it, isn't it? Especially after we've done all or you've done all that work on the car. Yeah. The last thing you want to do is then block it straight back up again. I'm just going to chop it probably there and stick it in down there. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Nice one. Not scary at all cutting through a fuel through a fuel line, is it? No. <laughs> uh, and we're through. Did you get much help? Not much. It smells lovely though. Wish we had to smell yeah, of it. Can't be smell of the gasoline. That's nice. Right, right. I'm just gonna get it this side of the this loom. There we go. Maybe through there actually. Got some um, two bleed clips of you. Yeah. Oh, they're in the room. Don't swear, Sam. <laughs> You're just mocking it up now, yeah, just to see. Yeah. yeah. That'll fit easily, won't it? Must be smaller than it'll be doing to it. Nice. So, so it's nice to go and get those Jubilee clips in. Cool, so the inline fuel filter's now been put on, everything's all bolted up. Airbox, isn't it? I think so. I'm just going to have a quick, just a last little once over. Yes. So the clip's back on for that linkage. Mm -hmm. That's all working. That line's back on for the distributor. That vac line's back on. Coolant's back on. We're looking good. I think so. Yeah. So even though we knew it was a running engine and it was fine, it, well, it wasn't fine, but we're just hoping. It's, it's probably going to take some setting up, like on the 
that mix just grew and yeah. um, the idle and stuff. Well, we haven't touched the idle, so it mm. should be okay. Should. Um, but we've had the um, fuel air mixture screw out, so that might need doing. Yeah. But we'll see, yeah. Trial and error. Yeah. I won't go first time because the fuel lines will be dry now. Are you sure? So no, it did last time, didn't yeah, it? Yeah. Well, see if it just turns over for a start. So here we go. Oh. Here we go. This could be interesting. I hope it works better. <laughs> I do, I do, I do. It's turning over at least. <laughs> <laughs> Still the same. Better get some warmth into it. Yeah. <laughs> we rebuilt this bad boy. So the engine runs, everything's good, everything's, uh, well, I say everything's good, but the engine runs and, if I just turn this around, um, we're now just sort of trying to sort out the idling. The carburetor's made a massive difference by cleaning that. We've adjusted that on the air fuel mixture and that seems to be good and now we think we've got a misfire on it. So <coughs> what we've done is we've had to play around with the HT leads and um, distribute air and we're just sort of, what's the word? Investigating, aren't we, Sam? Yeah, I'm not sure what it is at the minute. So, it's not, not right. No, it's not right, but it's not bad, is it? It's another step in the right direction, I think. It's running, but misfiring on on one cylinder. Yeah, we've had a sort of change around of the HT leads and that, haven't we? And we can't sort of pin it down, really. So, um, I think it's timing. timing is a possibility. Yeah. But we'll look into that and uh, we'll see where we get from there. Sad time closing the bridge door. We walked away. We feel defeated, don't we, Sam? Oh, we have been. That's why. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, there were some bonuses. Yeah. Like, and it was like compression's really good. Mm. Um, yeah, we should have showed that on video. We'll, we'll we'll do a video on that, I think. Yeah. Um, but we did a compression test and everything. Compression's good. Um, <laughs> we've been through all the parts, like one by one, trying to trying to um, eliminate them. Spark plugs, the leads, the bit of cap, the rotor arm. Coils, the coils, good, aren't we? Yeah. So it's um, 
Inexplicable, yeah. Tried filling with the car back, we tried filling with the timing, nothing seems to make a difference. It's still misfiring on that one cylinder, on cylinder num number three. Yeah, so next stage then, we're going to have a bit of a break, So, but this video will come out um, at another time anyway. And then um, we'll go on the brakes, I think. So yeah, we're going to go do the brakes. Uh, that'll be next next part of it to get it to stop but at least we're so far forward now we've got the um uh <laughs> sorry i'm distracted we've got the car running and it's running better so uh, don't really know i'm perplexed frustrated as well mm. so yeah that's it for this part we'll get back to you and we'll, we'll keep going but brakes soon though mm? definitely get the brakes going we'll yeah do i a suppose video on that. Can, can move it so. perks of having a project car you know, it's never easy, but uh, yeah, good day. What we do for food? Right, see you later. Bye, Sam. See ya.